Right now our app has two pages, the home page and the about page, but it's still not obvious to someone going to it how you would actually get from one to the other. You'd kind of have to rely on them to know that they have to go up here and type slash about, and that's a little too much work for most people. That's why most sites have a bar across the top that has links that let you navigate the site. So you might have a link to the about page and a link to go back to the home page. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now inside of your Rails application. Um, for now, I can go ahead and close the config and the routes file because we don't need that at the moment. And let's start with the home page. Now, probably the easiest way to create a, you know, a link to another page is, well, you, you basically create a link in HTML. If you've never seen HTML links before, it looks a little like this. I would do a href equals, and then in quotes here, I'm gonna put the, the actual page that you wanna send someone to. So um, I could put in something like a totally different site, like google.com, um, and I could do that with, well, I'll demonstrate to you. I would do, I think, http colon backslash backslash google.com. And then I close that. This is the first part of the HTML tag. And now I you know, could put in Google. And now I actually need to close the HTML tag on the other side. Because I'm labeling this text, I need to tell, tell it where it ends, basically, where my label ends. So I do that with a, look like this, minus a. Um, we're not gonna go too deep into HTML in this class. If it's confusing to you, check out our HTML class for a little bit of a intro or refresher. If I save that and I refresh here, now I have a link that basically sends you to Google, which is you know great, but not all that useful for this for this project. Um, if I wanted to send someone to the about page, for example, uh, I could actually well, I don't know, I don't want to do localhost three thousand because this page might change. Um, but there's an easier way to deal with that. I can do what's called a relative route, which means if I just do slash about, and then I, you know, in here make the text about, it's actually gonna send you to the slash about page of whatever site you're on. So uh, this is actually like, kind of like a shortcut. It fills in before here what web page we're actually on. So this is a very useful way to do it. Um, and, uh, and I might want to have well, and now I need a link going back from my about page to my home page. So uh, let's say let's say I just put both links on both pages. So if I just copy that and put the link at the top here, well, first I can do this and make it home. There, I can also put the about link back there. But now if I go back home, I'm missing the home link and I can put that on both pages um, and this is how this is how web development used to be. You'd have like a home and about page. You can jump back and forth, and you know that's fine. But it's a little annoying because every time you make a change on one of these, you have to make a change on the other one. I'm going to show you how to fix that in just a second. But the first thing I want to show you is that these are not just normal HTML pages. They are actually special because they you can write Ruby code in here, and I'm going to show you how to replace your links here with the right, the Ruby way, the Rails framework way to create a link. So let's delete both of these for a second. Now, the way that you create links in Rails is like this. You do the open little caret thing. You do a percent sign and an equals. Um, and then everything after this is can be Ruby can be like special code, and we'll do, we'll do another percent sign and equals to end it, but inside of here, I run a special, it's called a function, link underscore two. So the function name here is actually link two. And then after that, I put a space, and in quotation marks, like I'll do home. I can do single quotation marks here, that's fine, um, or double, either way will actually work. Home, and then comma, and now this is, this is where you get into special Rails magic. Um, and I could put in the actual URL here, or I can use a very special root underscore path. Put a space there at the end. So it should look just like this. Now this, I'm creating a home link, and it's gonna go to whatever page is in the root path. It actually will automatically update what this is if you change your routes file. So that's really cool. And um, 
I can refresh this and see this is the home page. It sends me back here. I can do the same thing for the about page. So I do about, link to about, and this is the about path. And I refresh that. And now th there's the about page. And I can go back. The way that these these exist. These are called variables. And we're going to see this come up a lot. These are a Ruby thing that you have. Uh, they look kind of different from you know this first part, which has quotes around it. These are set by whatever you have in your routes file. So because I have this line that says get about path here, you know, where it go to, suddenly I have this magical about underscore path that I can use in a link. I also have the root underscore path because I set this line too. So I can keep using those wherever. And in fact, I'm going to do that. I'll, in here, I'm actually going to update this sort of older, more straightforward HTML way of putting links. And I'll replace that with the, the, right, the Ruby way of doing this and save that. So now I have special Ruby inside of HTML. And uh, if you see, remember the extensions, home.html.erb, that's the name of the file. We're using ERB here, which stands for Embedded Ruby. So this is not just a typical HTML page. This is a special page. And we're going to be able to do all sorts of magic inside of these pages with ERB.